Hey guys, this is Lightstar. I am very excited because I have a very special guest that is going to be on this particular video with me doing a very special galactic activation. And this is going to be a light language activation and it is going to knock your socks off. So I will introduce my special guest in a moment, but please don't go anywhere. You will not want to miss this. Coming right up. Hey everyone, this is Lightstar, and welcome to all of you who are just joining me for the first time, and welcome for those of you who have been joining me for a long time. Really appreciate you guys having you guys on uh, my channel. I have some really special stuff coming up. So first just want to say again that big welcome to you all. And uh, for those of you who want to make sure you get notified of all of my upcoming videos, make sure you hit the little bell so that you get notified in your settings. And also, uh, for those of you who would like to uh, donate to my channel, I will also put the link down below so you can do that as well. But today, I am going to share something really, really awesome. And to do that, I actually have uh, brought in a collaborative effort here because I wanted to do uh, a light language activation and what I wanted to do first was find out from you guys what you guys wanted to hear next. So on my community tab on YouTube I actually have um, put out a couple of different polls there and a lot of you guys responded so thank you so much because I wanted to see what light language activation we should do next. And so to do this, I wanted to get your feedback. And uh, so, so many of you guys that, that did the, uh, in, engage in the poll, it was really fascinating and interesting to find out what uh, light languages of mine that I've done so far that you guys were most interested in. And I thought that I would probably look at, uh, first I would look at what you guys said. And, uh, but the, the interesting thing is, is that the very first one that you guys talked about was um, top on the list was Lyran. So uh, it was Lyran and Syrian. Uh, those were on the top. I believe it was neck and neck between the Lyran and Syrian and, and the percentages. And I believe it ended up being like uh, Syrian, Lyran, Syrian, Lyran. It was like this race. And uh, it ended up being, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it was Syrian that actually won out first as the 31% and then Lyran right behind it at 30%. So it was neck and neck. But that was the top. So I decided to bring in a special guest of mine that I actually know already speaks the Lyran and Syrian language so that, that we could do a co-collaboration for you. So that is what we're gonna do, okay? So I'm gonna, uh, without further ado here, I'm gonna introduce my special guest. Some of you may know who it is, some of you may not, but um, this is my, my honored, and my most beloved, uh, this is my beloved, speaking of, and this is my loving partner, Stands With Bear. Hello, hello! <laughs> there he is! <laughs> so, yes, this is my beloved. Some of you guys may see him or have seen him, and some of you may, may be seeing him for the first time. He is a absolutely phenomenal being. And he is a, uh, a professional flute uh, musician. Native. But I also call him my native, uh, or what do I call you? Alchemist. Yes. The musical, musical alchemist. Because he plays yes. so many different things. And I, I probably will have him on again uh, with some special music. But he also is uh, a Starseed ambassador, just like myself. And he also speaks uh, a couple of the languages and some of them. Uh, this is why I wanted him on Actually, here. Actually, a few languages. Not as many as her, but yeah. A few. But he speaks yeah. quite a few, and he's also uh, he's also Lyran and Syrian, which is why I wanted to have him on here. We call this Lysyrian. And so it was a perfect, perfect, perfect time to have him on here, and I also want to have him uh, just talk a little bit about some of the, from his perspective, the Lyran peoples, Lyran Syrian, and then we're going to do an activation for you guys together. How about that? Pretty cool, huh? 
So, um, yeah, it's not like really interview here. I just, I just wanted to have him on share his wealth of knowledge and wisdom <laughs> that he brings to the table uh, as well. So, um, what do you want to share about the Lyran or Syrian people? Well, first of all, welcome. Thanks for being on my beloved's channel. You know, she's been doing really amazing work, as you already know. And uh, she's just getting started, so you just wait to see what's coming. So, um, the first thing I want to do is, uh, some people will understand, they'll have a knowingness, have a remem remembrance of Lyserian. And Lyserian is like, you know, as you know, there's many hybrids out there. You know, there's Pleiadian hybrids, Vegan hybrid, a lot of hybrids. Because, let's face it, a lot of folks out in the uh, space, universal structures, they all kind of get together with one another. It happens, right? So, but I want to explain to you how Lyserian came to be. Now, most people are like, well, how's that? That's kind of an interesting combination, Lyrian and Syrian, right? Well, this goes all the way back to the Orion Wars way, way, way back when the universe was in uh, plight and uh, many universes actually, there was a conquering race known as the Reptilians, which still are trying to do what they did back then today. But at that time, our world of Lyra got completely decimated. But what many people don't know in this lifetime, once I explain something to you, this very thing, you'll begin to remember. But as the planet was being decimated, thousands upon thousands of Syrian vessels came in and rescued many refugees from Lyra. And the Lyran and the Syrians came together, much like you have, like, for example, um, you've heard of the Iroquois nation, right? Well, how did they become an entire, basically an empire? They took over the whole East Coast area. Because what would happen is they would marry in to other tribes. See, the Iroquois, they didn't really like fighting a lot. You know, they were more like diplomats, you know, and they were more like uh, just a beautiful people. But what they did is they would marry into other tribes. They said, we don't want to fight with you. However, my son will marry your daughter and thus expanding the tribe. So too was Syrian and Lyrian. You know, the movie Avatar, if you look really close, it has a lot of Native American uh, in, influences. In, yeah. influences. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? A lot, a lot of, a lot of Native stuff going on there. And for those that can listen and see, it's very revealing the message behind it. Okay, if you haven't seen Avatar, homework, watch it. You'll yeah, and, thank me. Trust and me. actually, the Syrian image that I created, that is the Sirius Solar Empowerment image actually is, if you can tell, it kind of looks a bit like the Avatar uh, being in some ways. Obviously blue, you know, for sure. But even in the face, it looks a bit like that. And uh, I also want to interject too, is that the reason why too there are a lot of mixes in Lyra Vega, like the connection between Lyra and Vega a lot is connected as well as uh, Lyran and Syrian. And as the when the Lyrans were lose, basically losing their homes, people were scattering around the survivors, they dispersed in several different areas. Mm -hmm. So some of it was Syrian, some of it was Vega, some of it was Pleiades. They were kind of dispersed around, but I think that there was a congregation more in the areas of Vega and in Lyra, uh, I'm sorry, Syria, Syrian. <laughs> so that, that's why some of these co-mixes and, and hybrids started to formulate and one of the things I've noticed too about Lyrans mm -hmm. is that mostly uh, when I when I do this in Soul Origins readings uh, for people, I notice that Lyrans have a very very strong sense of of wanting to find their home and find their tribe. Okay, mm -hmm. the people that they longed for because there's so many of them got destroyed. So there's there's this definite all of us have that as star seeds, but I do want to mention that. The Lyrans particularly have this desire to, you know, to connect and they miss and they have a lot of sadness and grief uh, mm -hmm. that they carry from the trauma from that time frame. Yes. So, um, and knowing this, I want y'all to understand that Lyrian 
and Syrian are very similar to that of uh, Native American um, families. Now, let me explain about that, okay? I'm an honorary family to the Hopi and, and I have a lot of Native friends and that. And with Lyrian and Syrian, when you have a child that's in the tribe, it's not just two parents. The whole tribe teaches those children. You learn from this pair and then this pair and this and so on and so on and so on. The cumulative of it creates the entire tribe. Thus, bringing together strength and unity and they grow up with that strength and unity and they carry on that tradition where when another child comes into their life, once those children have their own children, they also do the same and so on and so on and so on. So it was an easy fit for the Syrian and the Lyrian to come together because they both have very similar situations in their lives and in the way they are brought up together. So it's not real hard to uh, imagine that the Lyrian and Syrian would get together and have children themselves, which become the hybrid Lyserian and that. So you have the Syrian language and then you have the Lyrian language. But the two hybrids, when, when they came together, they literally combined both of the languages into one. And the method behind that is absolutely fascinating. The method to be able to do that, the dialect, the intonation, because you know, Syrian is very almost like uh, Klingon, very, very much like Klingon. And uh, I'll tell you guys a secret. Um, everybody loves Gene Roddenberry. And I promise you, if you're watching this channel, you love Star Trek as much as we do, okay? But here's the thing. One of my dear friend's best friend was Gene Roddenberry's um, niece. And when I met her on the beach in California, we're just tooling around talking. I asked her, I said, did your uncle ever tell you how he got these amazing stories? And she said, yes, he did. He said that at night he would have a journal by his bed and he would have these amazing, amazing stories that would come to him and he would write them all down. And what I realized then is it was not fantasy. What was being given to him was such a gift because what was being given to him was literally the chronological history of what's gone out in the universe. Not just our universe. Our universe is very minuscule. It's like a little tiny blip on the map compared to all the other universes. So I thought that was pretty fascinating. And as you know, you yourself drawn to that. Why are we drawn to that? We're starborn. It's like, ah, family. Okay, I know what that is. Don't you think it's interesting years later, all of a sudden the Adrenaline race that was actually in Star Trek actually turned out to be a real thing. The Vegan race actually turned out to be a real thing. Klingon, pretty close to Syrian. Um, then we have Vulcan, which is very close to Lyran, even Arcturian, have the mindset and the brains and the knowledge of the Arcturians, but yet the features, the elven features of the Lyran. So it's all relevant, you see, all relevant. Well, and I think it's really interesting how this whole thing, you know, conglomeration of all of these different mixes, but I found it fascinating for me um, to put out that poll for you guys to see that you guys, it just tells us too that a lot of people are Syrian and a lot of Lyrans that are on this planet. Uh, it's one of the primary, I'm kind of surprised, I was a little surprised because I really thought that Pleiadian would be up there and it, it wasn't. So that kind of, that showed a little bit more uh, that people were more Syrian and Lyran than Pleiadian perhaps, or at least the, maybe the interest in it. I'm not saying that they aren't, because actually if you look at my video, uh, the, the up, well, when they uploaded, how much they're watched, it's actually in a different order than what you guys said that you wanted to hear. Um, so it's a little different there. But I thought that what we would do is just do a light language activation first from Lyra. Um, first from, actually maybe we'll do Syrian first. I'll do well, Syrian, yeah, I was, I was then thinking, Lyran, and then you can do your Exactly, and then the yeah. two combined. See, we're yeah. right there. That's exactly what I was thinking is that we would do some Syrian and then some Lyrian mm -hmm. and then combine and the combine two. It. And you see the eloquence of what happened with the bridge between the two. Yeah, so, so this will be kind of fun. So what I what I like to do with my light languages when I'm bringing stuff through, and we I always put this out there too for all of you guys to um, make sure that you're not trying to figure it out from up here in the mind. Mm -hmm. 
you might get some kind of, you know, translation from what we're bringing through. And that's fine. Like if you're getting a translation, because a lot of people do get that, but some people don't and they like get all upset about it. It's like, don't. It's like, you don't have to worry about it. And you guys know from watching my channel that it's mostly about the heart. It's mostly about what you're experiencing. And that's what's important. But what I do bring through is an energy of, oh, just an overall of what is coming through. And I usually, I will always get that. So I always tell you guys. So because of the fact that we're combining this little collaborative thing here, I also felt that it was fitting for the energy to bring through for those of you that are wanting to connect with your tribe, wanting to connect with people um, that you're feeling drawn to that are like-mindedness or like-heartedness, mm -hmm. that this is a activation for that. Okay, so it's an activation for you but then also to turn the light switch on or maybe the beacon on from within you to have yourself be seen so that you can be found by your other uh, primary Lyserian or Lyran or Syrian sisters and brothers, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of the overview of what I'm gonna be bringing through. So uh, with that said, I'm gonna do some Syrian at first, then I'll switch into Lyran, and then I'll turn it over to this one to do the combined efforts, okay? So everybody just close their eyes, wherever you are, just kind of go into your heart space. Bek elash an cheak, vestakal akal makesh, viakalai salateak, mestukulak mashti elak. Venia tal a kalakesh, Mista makulak mlai, Meshupa ampasteak, Bestia kalak mlai, Vei tura sokula, Ella makashikia kahalakoma, Shomahula kula kalashes, Bakala ante ukulak ham ashipia lakal, Betesto, Bo ukushipi. Belek kalak lest malak, vek ila kal akash, mistukal al, yi kal al wak nasti kulak, verkurak alastan amakira, tequila kokushik, miast alamesh. Randa rasta rea, aruto kurus to barangarai. Dira ran sa rokurita ra, vroturiri asurukurandara. Veritira rosto kugera romare. Dirire a torun kunti rasta uma arukiri randarae, suria rombarar. Tararandere, pire ukurakaran, supari rende. Uri tira kara store mi karan tararak soronge ururutu rokora randera urustore maradiri rondere akara. Okay, everybody take a deep breath in. Release. One more. Release. Now I want to do a precursor before I begin. A lot of people don't understand about speaking the languages. Sometimes it's very confusing to them. But I want you to know and understand that this has been going on for centuries. Half of what the Bible is was channeled through different sources. The Bible was written by men under the inspiration of God. So even churches that do like the speaking in tongues, they simply are tapping into their mother tongue. And then you have ancient 
legends of even the oracles all the way in Greece and that they would speak different tongues before they would give their prophecy. And in native way, in Lakota way, they have a thing called spirit speak, which is one of the things I do as well. So they're literally speaking in tongues, but in native way. So I want you to listen carefully and I don't want you to listen with these ears because these ears will deceive you. Listen with the heart, listen with the soul, because these languages that we speak is a language of the soul and only the soul can interpret it. And each one interpretation is a living language, a literally living language that goes deep within you and you will find your own perception of what that is. Okay, so we'll begin. Lyserian, by the way, is my mother tongue. Okay, here we go. Ready? Mitia ka otosh and yara la asure. Nilizi tiken do shukurata araka asish a. Ma ach atum ash era niro. Marushi ur anugum sarish atish atish dalish garatishu sa o arme shire un nar sarayas. Breathe that one in, you guys. This is a heavy, potent activation that we're providing, you guys. So breathe in and let this shift, ignite, awaken whatever is meant for you with inside of your own DNA, your own cellular structure, your own energy system. And some of you may have remembrances of home, um, may become sadness or just uh, happiness, either one. Uh, we want to send out a lot of love to all of you at this time to allow yourselves to be open to love and to be open to having new people come into your life as uh, this activation moves forward into your, uh, into your energy field, mm -hmm. allowing yourself to be open, that beacon of light that can bring in new beings to your life that are family, soul family and energy family. And uh, we want to thank you guys for this opportunity um, to bring forth some activation. I'm going to, you know where to find me, obviously, lightstarcreations.com. You can work with me further for uh, private sessions as well as some of my artwork and my Magical Dimensions deck and my light language activation, uh, you know, art, custom art sessions and all that stuff you can find there. Um, I wanted to also just have my Sands with Bear share a little bit, um, just for a minute or two about what he does and where you can find him and his information as well. So one of the first things I want to tell you is understand that the Lyrian and the Syrian both come from binary systems, which means they have two suns. The sun is very important, so when you get a chance, Go out into the sun, soak it up, take it all in, because that fills your cells. It brings them to life. It heals. Many people I know, including myself, have actually fed off the sun, didn't eat all day, and fed off the energy of the sun. That's who we are, okay? We're moving away from the density of 3D and going beyond that, remember? We're going beyond that now, okay? Time to step out of the galactic closet. Okay, so my name is Stans with Bear, and you can find my website at stanswithbear.com. Very simple. I have an amazing thing called the Galactic Package. The first level of the package is Enzyme. The next level of the package is Lieutenant, 
and then the third level becomes commander and is designed to take you to the next echelon as it progresses. The first we go in, we clear out any debris from your past lives, any situations that are connected to you that are keeping you, binding you from your purpose. And we take that apart, release it, let it go. What I do, ladies and gentlemen, my job in this world, I create Jedi, I create superheroes. And I'm just waiting to do it just for you. But that's what I do. Go to my website, listen to the testimonials that I have internationally. They speak for themselves. You don't have to believe me. Just feel the energy of what I say to you. If you're drawn to it, I have a very, very special thing just for you exclusively. Today is what? May 12th, right? It's May 12th? No. May 13th? <laughs> no. <laughs> Right? No. No? <laughs> See? We don't know what time it we is. We never do the whole time thing. I don't know what that well, is. Well, because we don't know when this is going up. So well, when this, this is, is going up from two weeks, I I'm offering... Up next week. I don't know. I'm offering a special for you. Okay? The special is anyone that does my very first package to kick it off, to start the galactic package, I'm going to take $50 off the price. They're $177 for 60 minutes. So I'm gonna take $50 off exclusively for Lightstar's channel and for you, because I want to gift that to you. Yeah, he has a, a similar uh, structure in his package. The, the, his, his Mine's called phases, his is levels, but it's uh, one, two, and three, and then if you do all three, you also get a special, there's a discount included in that. So mm -hmm. you're just talking about the first one, if they just did one. Yeah, just the first yeah. one to kind so, of kick it off. Because I promise you, once you have the first one, you'll want to continue, because that's just a preliminary, and it gets stronger and stronger and stronger. And by the time, the whole thing is designed to empower you. And by the time you're done with the third level, then, you come to the point where one day you're going to empower others. That's why we're here. That's what we're here for, to create the new world. And to create the new world, you have to wake up those that are in the new world so that they can help create others or help to awaken others. That's why we're here, okay? We're God's plan B and we're <laughs> in it right now. There's no more testing, no more trials. We are in it. Yeah, so you guys go check out his his information on his website. Also his his uh, CDs, which I know he's gonna come back on here. We're gonna have some music on here because you gotta experience his music if you haven't already. Yeah. But he does have CDs for sale too, and they're all different. So please go check that out as well. I um, want to thank you guys for being here and for support on this channel. You know that you can always donate to my channel if you'd like. That's gonna be a link in the bottom. I really appreciate. Uh, that as well and uh, so I guess that's it for now I want to thank you guys we send you love we send you uh, lots of light and lots of energy for all the good stuff coming up and, and if this is your first time here don't forget to click that subscribe button yeah YouTube calls it subscribe I like to call it just join the community here because <laughs> I don't like the word subscribe but it's a social media thing but yeah, so if you like this and all the good stuff that I bring with more light language activations, channeling, and messages, who knows what else is coming. But um, thanks, you guys. And we're signing off for Love now. Love you all. Love Adonai. you. I don't know. Bye Adonai. now.